First off, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Welcome to another video. A few months ago, right, I found a pool slide in the trash. What? What? No way. No way. Everybody, everybody, this, this right here is why we come out here. You're not going to believe this gold that I just found. No freaking way ever possible in a million years could you ever find a pool slide like this in the trash for free right now oh my gosh and i was blown away i was so excited never in my life would i ever find something this epic in the trash and here we go it just happened twice twice in one lifetime are you freaking kidding me What are you going to say? Happy Thanksgiving. From the Target crew. Happy free Thanksgiving. This is the ultimate mom spot. Every time I come to Target with the fam, we get the front row seating. Ain't that right, Ben? All right, let's see what we're going to do here today. Other than being perfect. Hi, good morning. Um, they're alcohol wipes to disinfect the cards. As some of you may know, I'm a germaphobe and it's just gotten worse with age. Especially with now, babies. Especially now it's thin. Um, so usually like I'll let her down if when it's just May. So we walked outside, today's trash day, in our section of the neighborhood, and Finn just started waving to the actual trash truck, not the guy that was doing the trash, the actual trash truck. She has watched that show Trash Truck on Netflix before. Where not the trash much, but it is a low stimulating friend. show. The trash yeah. truck's the kid's friend, so she thought that that was trash The show's truck. really cute. She's ready to go in there. On here. My girl putting her mouth on stuff? Never. You can get hands, foot, and mouth disease from shopping carts. Adults mm. too. <laughs> the way she's. Alright, we got it. Perfect, correct order today. We got the whole aisle with sleds, but last year there was no snow at all. Hopefully this year we can go sledding, right, Finn? Got to put your... If she puts her helmet on, she can. Let's... She just wants the music going. We should get she her like a boom the music. box. Every time we come in here, guys, when she hears the music, even when it's super low, she goes... We need to get her a boom box like they had at the store yeah, at, at Ethic. Can, uh, so she can feel it. Play her favorite song on repeat. Like a mini boom box. You're talking about like an actual boom box. Let's go look and see if they have any. All right, this store actually, my whole life, our whole lives used to be Kmart, right? It was actually the very last Kmart to open in the whole country. They didn't sell GoPro stuff there ever, but they do here, let's say, if they have the clamp. They don't have it. It's probably because I bought it online last time. This comes with like head mount, little mount, no clamp. This is pretty good, but not the, not as good. Pixar is the best. Look at these Legos. Really? They have really cool Moana, Harry Potter. Um, Pocahontas, Nemo. Let's Nemo. go to the toy section. That's what we wanted to say. They the, have really cool uh, Harry Potter Legos. You want another one? This section right here. Look at this. Beetlejuice. This is truly legendary, the toys in here. Hold on, they had the Crypt Keeper in here. Where is he? Did they sell them all? Wow, look at this. 
the accessory set. No. How do you even see what it is, though? I guess that's how they get you. It's just the coffin, that's why. Coffin. Dracula. Armadillo. Opossum. Accessory set, so like, it's just an accessory. Yeah, Jerusalem Cricket, the armadillo, and the opossum. And a backdrop. Wow. People come from far and wide just to go to this toy section. I already know it. No, we don't. We come a whole two blocks right here. <laughs> we come from the closest area you could ever. What is this? Dynamic figure stand? Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Because they had like a little end thing that had small figurines that were just a little bit bigger than this. And I was like, why do they keep coming out with these? But it's because it's for the season. They're expensive just for one now. All right, let's see this aisle. Wow, the classic Spider-Man. 28 bucks. I don't remember the figures being that expensive. They still have these. Isn't this the Scarlet Spider? Check this out. This is it. This is the next epic outfit that I need for my next Indiana Jones outfit. Truly, they go next level with the Lego stuff in here. Look at this. Hit it, Bean. Hit it, Bean. Right here. Hit it, Bean. Mm -hmm. Hit it, Bean. All right. Ticka, ticka, ticka. These out. A ticka, ticka, tee. Ticka, ticka, ta. There you go. Okay, just got back to the house. So it's actually Thanksgiving Eve, the day before Thanksgiving. Right. Oh, I know as many of you already know that we were running auctions on the app called Whatnot. And it, we did really well, actually, considering the only thing I was that I was having an issue with is I could see in the time that we've spent on Whatnot running every single auction, just one auction, right? And then shipping the items. So finding the items, making a video, declaring the auction, running the auction, shipping the items talking to people, making sure everything's good, took away time that I could have been using to make YouTube videos. So I've pulled back from whatnot, uh, completely actually. We haven't done one in, in months. So what I'm saying is I value my time, as should anybody watching this, as should anybody who's in business for themselves or for someone else. Your time is valuable. You can't get it back. I've decided to go into negotiations with a different company called Basically the same exact formula, same kind of app. You go on there, you auction stuff off, you sell stuff. Uh, so I'm about to call the guy right now, see what if he has money to offer me, a contract to offer us. Not really sure. This is how business works. Uh, you can't take things too personally because any huge company like is probably using the creators on there more so than they care about you personally. If we can get money from to run auctions exactly the same, there's no reason why we shouldn't. But I'm about to call the guy right now and see what he says, because he just could be like, yep, yeah, doesn't fit what we're doing on So, you know, really there's not a space for you here. Uh, but either way, well, let's just call the guy and see what he says. I'm just recording this because I think that a lot of people don't show stuff like this uh, or they keep it secret or whatever. Hey, uh, this is Tucker. Hey, Tucker. How's it going, man? Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, it's good. Everything's good. Cool, man. What part of Jersey are you in? I live basically five five miles from a AC, around Ocean uh, Ocean City, right, New I'm Jersey. I'm on the complete other side of Jersey. Action Park. Uh, yeah, okay. I know, yeah. So, like, around New York, basically, right? On the other side. Yeah, basically, um... Yeah, that's nice. I know the area, kind of. Cool, awesome, man. Yeah, I, I know um, Jimmy Lil Twin. He reached out to me yesterday and gave me a heads up that he might be reaching out to me. Um, he was telling me that you, excuse me, that you were selling a little bit on. Um, you sell usually on YouTube, um, but 
I wanted to kind of pick your brain on what kind of partnership you had with them, what you're looking for really in a partnership, and, you know, kind of go from there to see if we could even make something work rather than me just saying, like, hey, this is what I want. Yeah, uh, exactly, yeah, because honestly, I don't even know the app that well. So maybe I'm not even a good fit for it. But basically, had I have done auctions on YouTube, but that's not a good way to do it at all uh, to sell stuff because like fake accounts come on there or whatever, and then people don't pay or people just are like, eh, I didn't really want that, so I'm not going to buy it now. And you kind of have to like hunt the people down. So that's not a great way to sell stuff. And to be honest, all of my like my money that I make is actually just from YouTube, realistically. So like if I do an auction, it would be as just like stuff that was extra the main guy that was doing he was running the storage unit whatever side of and i was like dude i don't even really want to do it i don't know anything about it and he basically convinced me to do it and then it ended up being uh really cool a lot of people from my youtube channel i would say everyone that follows me on maybe like a few people that just found me from the app came from my youtube channel signed up for just because we were on there and then started buying stuff on just because we were on there not because of so i felt like i was like well yeah i'm not gonna just like endorse your uh app like i have been if you're not willing to like pay me anything at all so i was just like eh, left on good terms but haven't done an auction since just got off the phone with the guy but it's looking promising uh i think just too big of a company to care about smaller creators like me and they just want people to sell 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 so what i was talking to him about was Yes, running auctions where we sell stuff, but also just streaming and just doing all types of other things that will bring attention to this site. I have a lot of ideas. I'm a pretty crazy person, as you, as everybody knows. Uh, I'm willing to go for it. If somebody's backing me and it's financially rewarding and fun, and it's something that can support our company and my family, then I'm willing to go all in, as you know, people might already know. But either way, going to have another... He's going to bring basically me and my channel to his superiors. And then from there, we're going to see what kind of agreement we can work out. But so far, so good. Getting the Thanksgiving festivities started off pretty good. I just wanted to say, don't lose sight of what you started doing just to please other people. Don't lose sight of your main mission. So when I started making videos, my main goal was to create content slowly but surely with the house cleanouts we got into selling items and then we got into reselling items and then we got into that whole world which was very good on youtube because the algorithm has tons and thousands and thousands of videos about that type of stuff so in that way it helped our business tons but i don't want this false notion that we are resellers first and foremost because we're not we are content creators and if we can get paid to make content, that's what we need to be doing. The car that I found in the lake, the crime scene video, has nothing to do with reselling. And that video has profited more money for us, for our family, my family, than any reselling video I've posted in the last five years. So creating content above everything else is the most important thing. Okay. Enough of that. Uh, we got some hats that I'm about to ship out. Next thing on the agenda. So this one actually is two. He ordered two hats. I gave him a third for free because the shipping was about a week and a half late. This was just one hat. And then I do have. We sold a third shipment. I got a pack of one of these shirts. Let me see if it, the right size is in here. That's a large here in a second. No, well, here we go. We got it. 2X. 2X going out. Christine Miller, thank you for ordering. She has been a longtime follower and has ordered merchandise from us in the past. So appreciate it very much. I'm going to add a couple stickers in there too for you. And here we go. So I feel like a lot of people think that working for yourself or being a YouTuber is really just all fun and games. It's definitely more work than I've ever done 
at a different job. It's enjoyable work, but you're not just gonna be sitting around collecting views and making money. You have to do every tiny little job that comes along with it as well. Some like it, some don't. It's all up to the specific person who's doing it. Another thing I wanna try to get done soon, maybe Thanksgiving tomorrow, is to paint the half pipe with an uh, outdoor paint, freshen it up. I was trying to go get a new coat for the top, but probably won't get that until next summer, realistically. Uh, so we'll see. If, it, if the weather's good and the pipe dries, I might be able to do it. But I also have this rack from the Flexi Rack Company that goes in the top of the garage for extra storage. And I really wanna get that together in the next week or so as well. So two big projects that I could probably knock out this week slash weekend. Thanksgiving week, let's go. I might have to pick up a couple extra things from the grocery store as well. So exciting day here. Thanksgiving cam. Look at that piece. Sweet potato, mashed potatoes. It's time, I think we're ready to embark on this absolutely gnarly project. So the flexi mount, I think that's the uh, that's the model right there. The GUR 48B. So I'm about to open all these boxes and lay out everything right here. And then from there, try to figure out the easiest way to install this mount, these three boxes, whatever's in it, to the ceiling of this garage. Potentially there, but also maybe there. I'm not sure yet. Lots of tape, lots of tape. This is about to go down. Ah. Let's see what this looks like. No way. How could it have all of these different parts? This is so gnarly. This is about to be a gnarly, gnarly project. I'm just straight up losing my mind here, thinking that all of this was part of the same system. They sent me two different shelving. They sent me, what did they send us? Did they send us three different? Wow, this company went all out. They sent storage wall shelves, right? From the first box, that's what that was. And then they sent two ceiling racks. This is incredible. This was the biggest hookup ever. That's insane. Shout out to John Vaughn from Flexi Mount, what a legend. The garage mounts are actually three different projects, not one. So I'm gonna start with the first. Rack here, one big rack here. I believe it's just one big rack. Along here, probably like actually pretty far down. The other pieces just sit in there. You can see where, the, where it sits. So we're gonna bust out. So this was actually my grandfather's little container here with a bunch of his pencils in it. So I figured what a good project to bust out some of his pencils. He always used to work in his garage. So here we go. So here's the template, pretty much all on point. Check this out. You just put the level in here. This is pretty nice. Whoa. This is pretty nice actually. The thing is too, all the wood on the wall right here is plywood. So it doesn't really need to be on the stud to be honest. All right, we're gonna attempt the new technique. Here we go. It should actually be pretty good. See how strong it is before I make the decision to do this or not do this. And also the clearance. I gotta see if this is even gonna fit on here the right way. The 
that's the only thing that I'm worried about is like how far over does it go from here. I'm just drilling little holes. So it's easier when I actually put it up. Got half of the rack up. Had to reconfigure a bunch of the garage, but. Okay, already that's the first rack. So I have four racks, right? This is another one just like that. I thought I just had one big rack to start, but no. We have that model, which is absolutely epic. Never th really put thought in it, actually putting a rack there, but wow, it looks great. So I have this, two of these racks as well, which are super Nardog. And these are gonna go, honestly, I don't even know, maybe here and here. I gotta figure this out, because this is about to get crazy. I'm not even sure if I can even put these up. All right, official Thanksgiving day. What's up everybody? Hi guys and gals. Nice olive green jacket. Nice olive green jacket. Oh, thank you. Hi princess. All right, we're about to hit it. So plan today, head over to the my parents house for a little bit come back get our thanksgiving pop in here at our house i'm hopefully going to continue the construction of these shelves because i only put up one so far and there's four all together so what i want to do is put the two hanging shelves oh i know when the car don't move you get mad baby we're going though we got her skateboard in the back I got a couple electric skateboards in the back, and it's gonna be a good day. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, it's on. Surprise, let's surprise attack these people are in. Oh, the Grinch. Oh, they're getting ready to put those bushies back in, right? Look at this guy. This lady heard you. Happy Thanksgiving. She heard Happy doors and looks out and goes, turn her here, let me get rid of it. Uh, come on in. <laughs> This guy's hair is almost long. I wish my hair was here that day. The, uh, <laughs> the beach is that way. <laughs> That's sick, that hat. That's a nice uh, haircut. <laughs> it's not a haircut. <laughs> Everybody on the comments said I need to cut my hair. What do you think? You need to cut your hair? Yeah, it should grow it to your length, right? I'm, this is crazy long. I need to get That's a haircut. That's nice. Is it? Yeah. It's long. But your hair's curly? Yeah. And your like, hair is straight. June's upstairs. She has straight hair. Like his mom, yeah. No one has my hair. Maybe yeah, but ben you're a, a child of the 80s, of the, of the 60s, Woodstock. But Ben's hair doesn't grow. It's always the same way. <laughs> 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 yep, yep, yep. What about ben got her first trim what the what other what? day. <laughs> Just a bang trim. <laughs> yeah. That's a big Do you event. know her? My hairdresser didn't even try to. Uh oh, this lady. Like, she never anything. stops, dude. I know, I have Here. these things I want Finley to open, their, but they're ornaments for the tree. They're breakable, oh. but I figured you guys would put them on. 
Oh, and this, Turner, do you still have your setup, Turner? Are you leaving soon? All right. Like, stop. What are we doing? Going to get coffee. This guy knows. It's the most Thanksgiving thing. This is the most Thanksgiving thing you could ever do, right? Yep. You can put that on here. I don't need, oh, I just need it back there. Why don't you put it on your truck? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that wow. So this is where you know where I got it from. This guy can't do anything without his Wawa coffee. <laughs> yeah. All right, you gotta gonna... get uh, yours and Sammy's. We gotta do a walkthrough here. A walkthrough? And These are what... holiday cups. We'll They're see what you get. I get mom and G booth the same thing. Get yours. This is the first one I ever saw these in Wawa before. Happy Thanksgiving. There it is. Siptopia is here. Wow. Finn, All right, you Finn. Rabbit? What'd you get, yeah. Finn? Finn. You got a Christmas ornament or a ladle? a ladle? She loves Can you show me what it is? I'm gonna have to buy a ladle. Yeah, no, for real. Because, like, all the... She doesn't play with the toys that she has, but I just think there's... She can have this ladle, actually. This she can the, have this. This is the one from Target, not the one Mimi gave me. She can have that one. All right, so your big present here is the ladle. <laughs> all right, what are we doing here? I just wanted you to check these out. Do you, do you have any need for these? What, to do a painting project? No, just whatever, to, to keep. If not, I'm going to just put them in Ocean City. Yeah, I think you can keep them. Okay, and then... They're pretty nice, though. Yeah, they're really nice. I just would be too tempted to sell them. <laughs> just well, like we might every... need them is the problem. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, so you and keep... Then, this thing, dude, do you, what do you do? Like, do you need this? Why, why would you want this? I don't know. It's a hard dig case. I'm not really sure. You can put buried treasure in here. You can. Bury it in the ground. And it'll still be se uh, secured when you come back for it. Pablo Escobar had money bins like this. So, is there anything in here you want? Where'd you get this? I got. I'm not gonna say. But did you um need it? Okay, here we go. First traditional family Thanksgiving at our own house meal, I should say, at our own house. Starting the tradition off right now. Check this out. Not the traditional Thanksgiving food necessarily, but pretty stinking close. Right then. You about to get your snacks. She is the only thing is gonna have to feed it to her. Feed it to her? Mm-hmm. Now you're about to eat with your hands. I can't give you this. It's dirty. I'll put the stuff that you can actually eat. So we got sweet potato, Sam mashed potatoes, Here, Mama. mac and cheese, try this? and salmon. <laughs> Plus a little butter bean. Yeah. Uh, and Quo, who's the smell in people's butts right now. Quo? Oh, well, because they want weddies. We can get weddies. Yo! No, she didn't. I got that on film. What? She went for his neck. She's going for the alpha now. Let's see. I'm just going to let her go ham on it. She goes right for it. The marshy. I knew she would. She never saw something like that before in her life. Let me put this in here. A few months ago, right, I found a pool slide in the trash. And I was blown away. I was so excited. I was like, never in my life have I found such merchandise. Never in my life would I ever find something this epic in the trash? And here we go. It just happened twice. Twice in one lifetime? Are you freaking kidding me? Nobody, why would anybody ever throw this out? Look at this beast. No, 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 twice in one lifetime. I can't believe this is real. I'm about to load this baby up. But I did have this idea, right? That I would make a video where skating 
skateboarding on items from the trash. So this could be the very first item we can actually skate. Let's get this thing loaded up though. It almost seems like it's too good to even be true. I truly and honestly think that this is the same manufacturer as the other slide. It looks so similar. Just a quick around the block, but uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is looking real good. A Thanksgiving miracle, truly. I mean, this is truly legendary. I could just imagine this at that pool back in the 90s. Just pure joy going through someone's mind. But uh, you could skate down this for sure. I could skate down this for sure. It's basically just like a half pipe with a little drop at the end. Or imagine like having this so secure that you could like ollie up to it and ride up it. All right, let's get this thing to the backyard, eh? All right, how are we gonna do this? This thing's actually huge. All right, in its rightful place. In its rightful place. Back at home with its brother. They definitely came from the same factory. The ladders are the same and everything. It's literally similar, so similar. Okay, so today was, is Thanksgiving still, was Thanksgiving. So last year, Finn was only a few months old so kind of unrealistic to really like have a traditional thanksgiving but finally this year right so we did get to go over to my parents house sammy did talk to her parents didn't get to see them but yeah so we got to have our very first family like me sammy and finn family thanksgiving at our own house here in summers point where we live totally perfect epic i just want to say the journey of life is hard and there's a lot of distractions along the way that can pull you in different directions or take away from what is truly truly important to you in your heart right so like a lot of people follow their mind instead of following their gut and they go and do things because their mind's telling them that they should either because they think they're going to get something out of it or they want to please somebody or they feel guilty or whatever emotion that makes you question something and do the opposite of what your gut says um, so what my point is, follow your heart in life and you're gonna, it's gonna lead you to where you need to be to be happy. If you do things for the wrong reasons, you're never gonna be fulfilled. So I guess my point is I've learned so much in the last five years, it's unbelievable. But just in the last one year, since last Thanksgiving, I've guarded myself now. I'm protecting myself and my small family from other things that could negative, negatively impact us. And I guess what I'm trying to say is you have to protect your peace in this life because there's people, and sometimes those people are very close to you. It's the people that you would never suspect that want you to be sad because they are. I just, yeah, truly the most thing that I'm thankful for and probably ever will be is my daughter, Finley. And because she had a good day, Sammy had a good day, I had a good day, that means that this was an extremely successful Thanksgiving and much more successful than previous years. I do not like to bring personal drama or personal issues into this channel, so I'm not going to, but I'm just encouraging people to follow their heart and do what is truly right for the people that depend on you. But the people that need you, love you, and depend on you. Do for them and make sacrifices even if they're painful for those people. 
Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Most epic slide find ever. What if I just put that slide on the roof, skated off of it into here? Now that would be epic. I did really think I was gonna get the garage racks done today, but I didn't do anything. I should just go in there now and start, or if I should just start fresh a different day. Uh, we'll see. Okay, day after Thanksgiving. Beautiful day, it's really nice out. So another thing about selling items, you just never really know what someone's gonna buy. Cause there's a lot of items that I personally thought were gonna be good sales. But this guy is about to buy this footstool, which I didn't think would ever sell. Well, maybe at a yard sale, but I don't know. It's nice, it's just a weird thing to buy. Let me pull it out of here though. This right here. 25 bucks. It's actually probably 100, 150. Oh no. We'll see. He might not even want this. I don't remember there being scratches on there like that, but I don't know. Let's just see what he says, I guess. All right, let's see. Let's see if he actually buys it. One lean shit. Can't even. When you're selling items for $20, $25, why is somebody coming here and offering me 20 when it's priced for 25? Um, nothing against the guy, made deals plenty of times. But the reality is selling something that's clearly worth more than I have it posted for, agreeing on a price, showing up somewhere, and then being like, oh, will you take 20? To me is kind of disrespectful. At this point in my life, I would have just said, no, I'll just keep the thing and throw it in the trash at that point. But he did buy it, $25. So, weird stuff sells. So yesterday, last night, Thanksgiving night, I found a pool slide unexpectedly in the trash. So I do think that this week into this weekend is a good time for people that are, you know, maybe at their house doing clean outs, doing some fall into winter cleaning. So I am going to cruise through this neighborhood over here and see what I can find if there's anything in the trash. I'm also just like collecting supplies for a couple different projects. So any like wood, old windows, pallets, stuff like that, that might not be that great. I'm also on the lookout for. So. Let's just drive through this part of town. I haven't been over here in a minute and see what we can find. And then honestly, this coming week, I feel like there's gonna be a decent trash day. Maybe Monday morning, Sunday night, Monday morning, even Tuesday. But yeah, this whole neighborhood over here, I found a lot of stuff in the past, just in the trash. This restaurant here too, it closed down like a year year and a half ago and then they're opening it back up maybe this coming year see in that dumpster there's probably a bunch of stuff too but i'll leave that alone for now forever probably they redid this house recently looks like there's like a dresser over there Let's see what do we got we got some blinds an old mirror which is actually kind of kind of cool might have to just take it. I mean, you're not really supposed to use used mirrors because it kind of takes a piece of you, but I could sell it maybe. I mean, pretty cool antique mirror with holes already pre-screwed in it. Not bad. All right, check this out. This is actually exactly what I was looking for. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take those four. Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, that's pretty much it, but yeah, four pieces. Try and get to those in a second. So yeah, I literally just found, uh, well, four more windows. One was cracked, so I left it. So this greenhouse is actually gonna happen. Finally doing this. I would prefer to do this with the garage door open because it lets a lot of light in, but here we are. 
can't have the garage door open obviously because the rack is going up right here so i'm about to do this finally i was planning on doing this two days ago so far this one is in place the flexi rack total dreamer and that's about as good as it gets really so then i'm going to put up the second style of rack that we have that's actually a hanging rack and we'll see how that looks and then we have two others one more of those, one more of these that we can put up. So let's do this one first and then we'll go from there. This took a turn for the crazy. I tried to put the rack on this side. It just literally does not fit the way the studs are spaced. This rack is huge. So I'm putting it on this side. The progress so far. This is actually pretty crazy install. And if your garage is bigger than this, it's a lot easier, but I reconfigured it, but that, that, and then this is going to go here. The only thing I got to do is move this down from here to like somewhere right here and just hope and pray that it doesn't actually affect the garage door uh, opening and closing, which I don't think it really should. The only thing I'll be worried about is I don't have another piece like this that's longer but all I could do is just put a bolt here and then move this one down just to get the, the spring out of the way. We're making it work. Now that I have half of it up, it's actually starting to look really, really nice. And I feel like I could technically squeeze another one in here, but I'm not going to because I kind of like it open. But this was a squeeze that I had to make it work because these are actually supposed to be in the middle of these bars, like the ones in the middle, but it'll still be solid solid gold and all this space will be utilized for storage and I can get in it from this side and that side and even on the inside. Putting up the big piece right now. Okay, a little modification we made right here. We just put this springy dingy a little bit further down. So it should be fine where it's at. It's a little sloppy looking, but it's now definitely out of the way of the rack. So we can continue. Okay, so here it is, the full setup. This is actually so crazy. That look how much look how much space. You could literally sleep up here on a mattress and you'd be good. It's actually so strong. So I did it a little different not exactly how you're supposed to do it, but it turned out 100% perfect. Let's see. Like it can hold my whole weight with ease. It's kind of the perfect shelf for in here. I'll show, uh, a video of it with it loaded up by tomorrow when I get everything back in order. But yeah, super stoked about this setup. Okay, I wanted to do an overview, final 
outro here showing the racks in completion. So the WR26 model is what this is. That is a perfect install. So what I've realized is see these three tins, uh, totes up here, they all have Christmas stuff in them. So perfect to store holiday stuff that you can get to easier without putting it in the actual attic. And this one is the GR48 fits actually perfectly here uh, with the garage door. It wasn't going to fit on this side. It fits on this side. But I want to say when you're installing these racks, specifically these hanging ones, it's not going to be a perfect science. If you have a very large, very clear garage, okay, probably a different story. But it's up to you meaning up to me to make it work and I, that's what I did so don't expect it to be a super easy install just work with what you got and make it fit and at the end of the day you're going to have a beautiful rack so shout out to flexi mount hooking us up I mean quite literally this office chair came from the same company as did that desk right there so they have been hooking us up for a minute they don't only sell racks the company sells a lot of other things so i will leave all the links in the description of the video and shout out to finley magic all right we didn't know it was raining it just started i know she's still interested though interested in the rush peace